Today I've got a problem from Oxford University's maths admissions test. n is a positive integer, then x squared plus 1 is a factor of 3 plus x to the 4 to the power of n minus x squared plus 3 to the n times x squared minus 1 to the n for all n, even n, odd n, n at least 3, or no values of n. And there's a few ways you can solve this. I think if you had no idea whatsoever, process of elimination is a good way to go. So start from n equals 1, plug it in and see is x squared plus 1 a factor. If it is, you can eliminate some options. If it, if, if it isn't, you can eliminate some options. Um, and kind of do n equals 2, n equals 3, and so on, until you basically narrow it down to just one option. Not super efficient, but if, if you have no idea what to do, that's one way you could do this. The way I'm going to do this is by using the factor theorem. Um, so if x, x squared plus 1 is a factor, then this function f of x, in fact, I can write another function, g of x, if I call this f of x, if I just make g of x equal to 3 plus x squared to the n minus x plus 3 to the n, x minus 1 to the n. Clearly, if x squared plus 1 is a factor of this, then... Um, x plus 1 will be a factor of this. If x squared plus 1 divides this thing, then x plus 1 will divide this, because g of x here is precisely, or sorry, f of x is precisely g of x squared. And so if x squared plus 1 divides f of x, then x plus 1 will divide g of x, which basically then tells me that g of minus 1 should be 0. And so I get that uh, 3 plus minus 1 squared, so 4 to the power of n, minus 3 plus minus 1, so 2 to the power of n, and then minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2 to the power of n, that should be 0, just using the factor theorem. And now if I strip out the minus 1, this is 4 to the n uh, equals minus 1 to the n times 4 to the n, and this is true if and only if n is even. And so my answer here is b.